Welcome back. What we're going to do right now is take you through what essentially led to the five-year ban on the Popular Front of India because it has now been declared an unlawful association and this includes its affiliates and associates as well. Now there are five reasons that we're going to take you through. Essentially the first reason is essentially that they had a secret agenda to radicalize the society and this is what we've see, been seeing in the last couple of days on the 22nd of September and yesterday as well we saw massive crackdowns in multiple states across the country in connection to the PFI. Now reason two that led to the five-year ban on the PFI is that it's been linked to terror groups like ISIS as well and this includes organizations, terror groups from Syria in, as well. Now the third reason of why the PFI has been banned for a period of five years is that they have the potential to disturb peace and we've seen this actually play out in multiple states over the last few years which is why the call for a ban on PFI is not a new one it's one that we've heard many times before now the fourth reason is that they have indulged in illegal activities again mul over over the last couple of weeks we've seen a major crackdown specifically on the 22nd and the 27th where 300 people over 300 people have been arrested and this took cross to, oh, took place over a period of two days now the fifth and final reason that we're going to take a look at when it comes to why the PFI was banned is because they were prejudicial to security of India and essentially that's why we saw massive crackdowns because they have not only harmed the security integrity of the nation they have also brought out communal brought out communal uh, and disturbed communal harmony in the country now we are also going to be joined by Mr. Arvind Kumar Jain who is a former DGP of Uttar Pradesh uh, we are now going to be speaking to him about the PFI ban. Uh, Mr. Jain, thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18. What I'd like to ask you about is the, the Uttar Pradesh is actually one of the states that really recommended the ban on the PFI. Uh, tell us about what really led to this. Uh, Mr. Jain, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, Mr. Jain, thank you so much for speaking with CNN News 18. Essentially, the PFI has been banned for five years. What we know is that Uttar Pradesh is one of the states who actually recommended the banning of this organization. Can you tell us what led to this? Pardon? Could you please tell us about what led to Uttar Pradesh recommending the banning of the PFI? The uh, role of PFI was uh, found in the CA and RC riots in 2019 at Lucknow and other places. PFI's organizational capacity was tested at that time and within minutes they mobilized thousands of people on road and it, there was violent protest. After that there was a crackdown by the police by administration on, on, on these cadres and uh, arrests were made and uh, during interrogation it came to the light that PFI was behind it. PFI's organizational capacity was behind it. Only then they could mobilize uh, people in such large numbers. After that, uh, uh, there was an act also which uh, UP government propagated, uh, damage to uh, public and private property act. It had very salutary impact, but at the same time, they recommended that uh, organizations like PFI should be banned, should be banned. And th this, this uh, um, request was pending since then. So now it has been carried out. Okay, uh, Arvind Kumar Jain, sir, thank you for bringing us your opinion. If I could request you to stay on with us. Uh, good morning to all of our viewers. We're going to move very quickly now to Anshul. Anshul is with us from Shaheen Bagh outside the PFI offices. Remember, yesterday you saw crackdowns across the country against the PFI and one of the area of focuses was very much multiple parts of Delhi. Shaheen Bagh was in focus. Arrests took place there too. Uh, Anshul, tell us, yesterday in the arrests, you heard multiple accounts that uh, one or two of those arrested were actually Delhi University students. Uh, what information can you give us there? So yes, there were reports that some of the uh, people that were arrested yesterday from the national capital, approximately 32 people were arrested from the entire national capital from North Delhi to Northeast Delhi to Southeast Delhi as well. Uh, but yes, there were accounts that some of them were 
uh, students, but yes, the kind of evidences that the police has provided definitely tells a lot that they were actually not involved in studying in those universities, and that is the reason why they were arrested by the police. Some of them were taken into preventive arrest as well uh, by the, uh, by the special cell and by the Delhi police. Eventually, they were handed over to the NIA for further investigation. Currently, this morning, after the ban has been imposed on the PFI, just a few minutes ago, a team of police officials from the local police station of Shaheen Bagh have arrived out here at the PFI office. Now, remember, this office was actually sealed by the NIA on the uh, 22nd of September when the initial raids happened in which approximately 147 uh, people were arrested from across the country. All these were... Uh, 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 all these were senior leaders of the PFI and yesterday the workers, on-ground workers of the PFI were arrested. Now a team of police officials have arrived over here just to make sure that no untoward situation arises over here because PFI, this is the only office of PFI in the uh, uh, in the national capital and this is one of, this could be said as one of the headquarters of the PFI and they actually have a kind of a support on ground especially in in this area like, like Shaimbag where people actually say that People from the PFI have actually helped them, helped them in on many occasions, be it for education or whatever. So yes, they have kind of a support over here, and just to make sure that no untoward situation arises, because yes, there will be public sentiment. There will be people who will be raising their voice against this ban on PFI uh, on PFI, and that is the reason why the uh, administration is taking absolutely every uh, every preventive step that could be taken, just to make sure that no law and order situation arises. And if at all it arises, it could be contained at the earliest. And that is the reason why local police officials have already arrived over here. They are making sure that uh, no one is allowed to gather in this area to carry out any sort of protest because remember this entire area has, has uh, section 144 has been imposed in this entire area approximately 10 days ago and for the next two months that is going to continue as well. So yes, the police and the administration is already taking all the preventive steps that it can take just to make sure that a situation like Kerala that we saw happening uh, on the 23rd of September or, or on the evening of 22nd September where massive protests happen over there, there, wa there was public unrest. That should not happen on the street of national capital and that is the uh, prime focus of uh, of the agencies as of now and that is the reason why we are seeing all preventive measures being taken in the national capital just to make sure that no untoward situation arises, no sloganering or no marches are being allowed to carry it out uh, to support the ban uh, to support the PFI as of now. Toya. Uh, Anshul, I'd like if you could shed more of a light now on the community reactions that we've seen since yesterday. I think you were right now touching on information that we've received that a few of the people arrested yesterday were Delhi University students. But apart from that, I also believe that there were people who were considered the face of the Shaheen Bagh protest uh, against the CEA NRC from a few years ago that were also picked up during this round of arrests. Is that accurate? Uh, so yes, many workers of the PFI were actually at the forefront of the Shaheen Bagh protest that happened during the when the CA was actually passed by the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. So the, yes, there were workers of the PFI that were actually involved and were actually at the forefront of ca carrying out that entire protest. And hence, and that is the reason why we saw that the people who were arrested over the last two days that happened over the last one week, uh, they could actually have some involvement in in, in that uh, protest as well because PFI were, were, was one of the organization that was at the absolute forefront of it. Uh, so yes, there are people who were actually involved in this and have been arrested by the by the Delhi Police. However, people from uh, affiliate organization, organizations like the STP, uh, SDFI have also been arrested by the police yesterday is what we have been told. But yes, SDPI has still not been banned by the government uh, in this notification that has been issued. So that is a big question why SDPI, which is an affiliate organization of the PFI, why has that not been banned and what is the future course of action that the government is actually thinking to, ta uh, to take against them. So. Uh, Yes, uh, people from across uh, across PFI because remember the 20 uh, on the raids that happened on the 22nd of September, the leaders and the stakeholders of the PFI were arrested, and the raids that happened yesterday, the on-ground workers were arrested because it was told uh, that they were getting messages to carry carry out protests in, in a certain manner that would actually create unrest in this entire country, and that is why they were arrested. And not only they were arrested, but more than 30 electronic devices, which included uh, mobile phones, laptops, cameras, that were also seized by the special uh, special cell in the raids that were conducted yesterday and that they have they are investigation in on investigating on those devices as well just to try to make sure a timeline of how the PFI was actually trying to make sure that there is massive unrest in the country after the kind of raids and the senior leaders of the PFI who were arrested by the NIA on 22nd, 22nd of November. So yes, many people, uh, 22nd of September, I beg your pardon. So yes, ma many such uh, incidents have already happened and the Delhi administration is absolutely making sure that 
no situation is allowed to go out of out of hand and hence preventive measures are already being taken but as of now after since the ban on pfi has happened there there is no reaction that has come from the pfi or any of its affiliate organizations but yes it remains to be seen uh, what is the future course of action that they are going to take because uh, one thing is for certain that they are not going to take this sitting down they might approach the uh, uh, approach the courts in this entire matter but yes the kind of 